This video is on um, introduction to halo alkanes. I'm going to start off by talking about what a halo alkane is and then uh, pr what primary, secondary and tertiary halo alkanes are and then a uh, little information about the carbon-halogen bond. So first of all, what is a halo alkane? So the halogens are in group 7 in the periodic table and we have fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. And we form a halo alkane when a halogen atom replaces a hydrogen atom on an alkane. Remember alkanes are compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen only. Halo alkanes can be either primary, secondary, or tertiary. So, for example, uh, primary halo alkanes, I'm just going to use bromine as uh, the example for the halogen. So, in a primary halo alkane, the carbon that is bonded to the halogen is also bonded to one carbon atom. In this example, we've got bromoethane. In a secondary halo alkane, the carbon atom that is bonded to the halogen is also bonded to two carbon atoms. So in this example, we have two bromopropane. And then in tertiary halo alkanes, the carbon atom that is bonded to the halogen is also bonded to three carbon atoms. So for example, here we have 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. Okay, the carbon-halogen bond. All halogens are more electronegative than carbon, and so the carbon-halogen bond is polar because we've got a permanent dipole. It just means that the halogen atoms are better at drawing uh, electrons towards themselves than carbon is. The delta positive uh, on next to the carbon atom tells us that that atom is electron deficient. And so that means that haloalkanes will react with substances that have a lone pair of electrons that are available for donation. And these substances are called nucleophiles. So just a few examples of nucleophiles that will react with haloalkanes. First, we've got water that's got two lone pairs of electrons that can be donated. Secondly, we've got the hydroxide ion, OH-, and that's got three lone pairs of electrons available for donation. And then we have a cyanide ion, which has got a lone pair of electrons for donation, and then ammonia, which also has one lone pair of electrons for donation.